consider this particular statement we have character star a plus 5 is equal to inverted commas a b c d and this is entire string and this is the closing brackets now you can see th this entire program here when i'm saying a plus 5 this is actually representing a statement like this a of 5 it is equivalent to star of a plus 5 now we need to identify how many tokens are present in this particular statement now for this particular statement this character itself is one single token this star is second token this opening bracket is a third token a is a fourth this plus sign is the fifth token five is the sixth token this closing bracket is the seventh token then we have single equal to sign this is the eighth token this entire string is one single token therefore this is the ninth token and this is uh, semicolon is a tenth token so in this uh, statement there are 10 tokens which are present okay now let us take the second example if we have a statement like this printf inverted commas i equal to percentage d and uh, this bracket is not there i is equal to percentage d uh, uh, comma m percent i is equal to percentage x we have a statement like this comma i comma m percent i assume this is the statement we have now in this entire statement this printf statement is one single token this opening bracket is a second token this entire string from here to here even though we have multiple commas here even though we have single equal to sign but because this entire string is coming inside these brackets therefore it is one single token so this is considered as a third token then we have this statement it is comma is the fourth token this i is acting as the fifth token this statement is the sixth token this ampersand sign is the seventh token this i is the eighth token this one is a ninth token and this one is a tenth token so you can see in this entire program there are 10 tokens okay now consider this question which of the following strings can definitely be said to be a token without looking into the next input character so which of the following string which of the following string can definitely definitely be said to be a token to be a token without looking without looking the next input character the next input character okay so for this we have the options which is option number a is opening bracket we have option number b is fun we have option number c is not equal to sign and we have option number d which is this bracket okay now see in this entire uh, in this complete statement now you can see this opening bracket without looking at the second next statement this can be uh, said as a token clearly it you can see it okay now this fun is a name of an identifier and this fun may be having some another char character which may be associated with it because we need to understand wh whether it is a function or whether it is a name of a variable it can be anything okay so we cannot say uh, by looking at the next without looking at the next symbol what is it it may be inside some uh, inverted commas or something so we cannot say by looking at it whether it is a token or not but for this c because this itself this complete not equal to sign can be said as a token and this cannot be said as a token just by looking at this why because it can be something like this less than or equal to this complete will be considered as one single token right so therefore just by looking at the symbol you cannot say it is a token or not so here option number a and option number c uh, we can see without even looking at the next symbol we can say whether these are token or not okay now consider this one we have to find find number of tokens find number of tokens for the following expression for the following expression find the number of tokens for the following expression expression is like this a plus 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 b now in this entire statement you can see a is one single token 
and when we have so many plus plus six signs then you have to identify what is the priority of these operations right for example you have a post fix operation you have a prefix operation and you may be having an operation which is between two variables now here because we have multiple plus plus signs we have to identify which operation is having the maximum priority again even if we have this one or this one we can write a plus 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 we can write it because it is saying that do increment the variable a two times it means that first of all you are having priority to this one and then you are having priority to this one okay this is a per per perfectly valid statement but if i am saying a plus plus b now here there is a case of ambiguity why because this plus plus sign this two plus plus sign it can be post fix expression or there may be an ambiguity that how how can you do this two times plus plus right so th there's an ambiguity in this but if we have a plus 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 b now it is a perfectly valid expression because this can be acting as a one token that means you are doing post increment on a and then you are adding it with the b okay now in this entire expression you have to identify find the number of tokens now you can see this you can consider this as one single token you can consider this one as one single token because these are post fix expressions and then you can consider this one as one single token and th this b as one token so how many tokens are there this is token number one token number two token number three token number four and token number five okay so see for this type of expression the pass tree is not possible so it will give syntax error but th there is no problem with the tokenizer okay so generally you can uh, see uh, this is this is how tokenizer is going to tokenize it but the correct method should be something like this a plus plus uh, this should be considered as one token plus single plus and then this should be considered the second token and then we have b okay so here in this entire case this should be a is a one token this is the second token this should be the third token this should be the fourth token this should be the fifth token right so this is, again i'm repeating here for this type of expression pass tree is not possible you can see for this type of expression this type of expression parse tree is not possible parse tree is not possible so it will give syntax error so it give it will give syntax errors syntax errors but there's no problem with the tokenizer tokenizer is not going to find any problem with it so the correct method generally is like this in this ex entire expression it should be if we have a plus 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 b it should be this should be one side this should be another side and this should be like this okay this is a correct method of doing this one don't worry we'll see at see it okay so now let us look at the next topic